Let's go. Come on, boy. Turn around. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Cassie. I'm Gary. And thank you so much for stopping into Walker Farm Fam today. Uh, we have a huge surprise. We're headed uh, to do something. But first, we had to have our come and go pizza. Come and go breakfast pizza on the Will Rogers Turnpike. I think that's what the turnpike we're on. If you're in Oklahoma, you're paying turnpike fees one way or the <laughs> other. That guy's doing lunges. He's getting ready this morning. So... <laughs> Sorry, so distracting. Turn it around, turn it around. Gotta see it. <laughs> he saw us. <laughs> we got caught. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, we embarrassed him. He's walking to his truck with his head down. I know. Poor guy. He was doing great. Like Those were legit <laughs> lunges. He had some long legs. <laughs> so, we are headed to a friend's house. And if you know this friend, you know that he also loves breakfast pizza, but he gets his from Casey's. So maybe when they're there, maybe he'll, well, maybe when we're there, he'll buy us some and we can see if it's better. But come and go pizza, breakfast pizza is amazing. Their breakfast pizza is probably the best pizza from there. I've, I've had the other ones and eh, it's just pizza, but their breakfast pizza is the best. Yeah. So um, if you know who we're talking about, comment down below. Where are we headed? What are we doing? Maybe the thumbnail gave it away, but here we go. All right, so we just pulled up and somebody's yelling at me. Let's go check it out. I know, I'm coming. I know, it's our first time meeting. Come here, Smokey Smokey. Oh, you do look like Xena, don't you? You do look like Xena, don't you? Are you feeling left out? I'll talk to you. All right, go, show them how you run. You got zoomies, zoomies? Huh? Okay. All right, so we made it, and if you guess right, based on the pizza, it's Chad. That's who we're going to see. Casey's on top. <laughs> Casey, Casey. We're going to do a taste test for lunch. Yeah, no, we might I'm have kidding. to get some Casey's breakfast pizza for lunch and <laughs> no, see if it. Don't look. Uh oh, good. as Mazzy would say, disgusting. Code brown. So it is freezing here. Um, it's super cold, which it was at home too, but um, it's windy, cold. I'm going to capture all that I can. Loading up the beefy boys, it's time to take them to freezer camp and we're gonna help chat out on this. So to help them out, we brought some panels up. Um, at home, the alpacas and the pony are roaming free right now. They got a free range on 30 acres and we were gonna turn them out anyway, but we took down part of their pen to bring it up here. Anytime we load cattle, we wanna do it as safely as possible and we wanna keep us safe and them safe. And a few panels will help out with that today. So hopefully you guys enjoy, maybe, we won't get in too much trouble, but stay tuned. Uh, we got a lot in store today. They look good though, don't they? Uh, yeah, I think yeah. it's hard to tell on camera, but um, this is about, I think they're about 20 months old. Great. For, <laughs> for, for an airy breed, they are. They look as, great. I think they're as good looking as you could get them. I mean, Cause I, you've got a, you got a cow, right? That's mm -hmm. a dairy Angus. Yeah, the she, blackberry. she does not mm -hmm. carry this much weight. Mm -hmm. So they are, they're doing awesome. Yeah. Well, they run everyone else off the cube, so they ought to be awesome. <laughs> they get no. nobody. <laughs> and then uh, they have to worry about Get out. Is the fence hot behind me? Yep. Okay. Uh, let's go right back here. Maybe it won't scare me so bad if it gets me in the rear end. And it's a new battery. It's, it's probably six or seven. Uh, put up the other two. We can put up the other two. We got them. Maybe get out the trailer anyway. But I think these guys Maybe just use the other two right here. Once we once we pull them in here, just put another one right here. Just or you come swing this one. But. Well, I could, but that that would work. Just uh. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Or nope, you're the girl. I see now, you're darker. I'm my bad. Called you a boy. You're a girl. Hi, sister. Oh, for sure. Chad went to get something out of the truck and they're following him like, help us, come back, dad. <laughs> Watch when he starts walking back, they'll come right back a bit. What about you, buddy? Yep, you're going too, aren't you? Fine, just leave us here.
Oh, I just stepped him poo. All right, so what's the game plan? He's gonna... Okay, so here's the thing. Those cows might just follow Chad right to the trailer with cubes. There's, a, a, there's a really good chance. Yeah. So I would like to see if they do. We can try that, but if not, then we got this one. Close them into this one. Going into the trailer, we got this coming in behind them. So awesome! Does that don't work. <laughs> they start following you like, Daddy, you're leaving yeah. us. Let me get out of the way. Come on, boy. Come on, buddy. To give them some time let them get comfortable yeah. and they'll you go tell me the quickest way is uh quickest way to load cattle is slow slow one will give in the other one will go all right Too excited or you'll run them off though. If you spook them or run them out at this point, then we're toast. Right, Gary? <laughs> he told me to stop talking. Did y'all see that? Gary's gonna sneak up and get the. There's one up at the top, isn't there? There's a door up there, you see it? What, you guys want in too? Huh? All right, Gary's got step two. Got the second gate closed. Step three's getting them in that trailer and shutting that gate. How's the door open? He can't open it. Okay, if you say come and go pizza is the best, I'll let you out. Right now, come and go pizza is the best. <laughs> I didn't realize you couldn't open it from the inside. Yeah, that that could have been a bad joke. It's the animals from getting out. Let's go. Come on, boy. Turn around. That was too easy. Awesome, awesome. So Gary's pulling out and Chad's pulling over. We're gonna haul the the beefy boys in our trailer and Chad's gonna haul the panels back for us on a flatbed trailer. So it's all working out real good. I'll uh, help you carry this, Chad. There's no reason to. I just grabbed one because I'm used to doing it by myself, but yeah. there's two guys, there's no reason to. Uh, you walk around. Yep. I got some tie. 
All right, so we got the panels all loaded up, tied down, ready to go. Are you guys sweating when it's 36 degrees? No, I'm actually no. not. <laughs> not right now. I feel my fingers are cold. By the time you sweat, that wind kicks up again. So we made it back to Locust Grove, Oklahoma. Thankfully, it's good to be home. And if you see that guy pulling up behind me, Chad hauled the panels back on his trailer and we got everything done we needed to. Cassie, uh, she had to go to work, so I dropped her off by there. But now, let's see if we can see the alpacas and the pony. We turned them out, uh-oh. They might be in with the cows. This should be interesting. You're not gonna make me back out of here on camera through that. Uh, yeah, you gotta turn. go the exact same way. So remember how I told you last night I turned in our alpacas and our ponies. Yeah. To the uh, this field. Yeah. Well, apparently, after I did that, I did not shut the gate. It's so way out there, I can see. Yeah. So now the alpacas oh, and the man. ponies are in with the cows. Um, so hopefully that's not any kind of problem. But I'll see if I can get them back in in a minute. One way to find out. Yeah, they're already in there. And now you'll know forever. Uh, if you just back up towards that holding pin, kind of, yeah. towards that, like right by that round bell feeder, or just circle around, we'll unload the panels there. At least the alpacas and the pony did not get out on the road, so that's good news. But they did uh, get out with the cows, which I don't think that, that will hurt them. Uh, our alpacas, I think, roamed with our cows before out at Rose. The pony did not, however, so I don't know about that. Alvin, Alfred, come here, Alvin. Alvin, come here, Alvin. Come here, Alfred. Lulu, there you guys are. Hey, Lulu, Alfred, come on. Alvin, Alfred, come on, guys. Come on. They came out, but then they ran right back in. Watch out, Joe. Come on, guys. Yeah, you can pull pull straight up to where that, kind of the back of the trailer is by that feeder. Come on, Alvin. Come on, Alfred. Come on, Lulu. Come on, Lulu. Come here, baby. Come on. Joe, Joe, set. If I could get Lulu in here, I'd be in good shape. Come here, Lulu. Come on, girl. Stay behind her. Well, if I walk away from that gate, I think she'll come through it. Come on, Lulu. Come here, Jojo. <laughs> All right, everybody's back where they belong now. Rome, Lulu, Rome. Go wherever you want to go. I know you want food. Hey, Alvin. Hey, Alfred. I promise, Chad, we're not a funny farm. It just looks that way. It just looks that way? Yeah. It just, look, it just looks that way on YouTube. So Chad and I got those panels unloaded, and we are coming out here to look at the cows, and we stumbled on a goat. And unfortunately... This goat did not survive last night. I took these panels down on purpose because I was gonna turn the alpacas and the horses out into our 30 acre pasture. So they have not been in here in their pen overnight. So I came in here and I'll just have to show it real quick, but something has came in here and tried to pull one of our youngest goats all the way through this panel. So is it a coincidence that the alpacas weren't in here that are known for their um, abilities to uh, defend. They, some people even use them for guard animals. I don't know. I'm going to keep a lot closer eye, though, on these goats. But, Chad, I mean, what do you think? Do you think that... Well, I, the, whatever it was, I mean, this panel... You can see the ground. That base rock, Chad, Kitty. That base rocks. So something was pulling yeah. so hard on this goat that it had this panel out about 
probably at least a foot from where it normally sets. So my thoughts is a coyote got in here um, and got somehow grabbed onto this goat or the goat got stuck and started pulling it out. I really don't know. Maybe if the goat got stuck, it started yelling and screaming and maybe one of these other legs were through here. I think they were because you've, you've got, first off, it's clean because Xena took care of it. Because that's what I've learned is the dog will take care of it so it doesn't draw the smell yeah. of the predator. But this has even been gnawed on the, the back feet. So like it's, it's, I know you can't show a whole lot of it. Yeah, that. yeah, I'm not gonna show. Um, I, I know we can't show you guys everything, but the back has kind of been, it's what was used to try and pull the animal through the fence. And I would guess it just got stuck and probably, I mean, have you ever heard a coyote call? I mean, that's, that's a goat. That's yeah. A little high pitch cry. When a coyote hears something in distress, a dying rabbit or a goat that's in distress, they come running. Mm -hmm. So there's a good chance that this goat got its legs stuck and a coyote came out here and pulled on it. We don't, I don't know. Honestly, I can't tell you 100%, but that's what I suspect. I didn't hear anything last night. We got home today, um, just now seeing it for the first time. So I'm sharing this because we share the good with the bad. We had a great day with Chad. We got some calves moved. Um, we had a good time uh, just talking here on the farm, visiting over lunch. And something like this will almost ruin your day. But that's part of life. Life on the farm is just like that. You got to take the good with the bad. You got to keep going. Um, but we'll keep a closer eye and hopefully uh, figure out what's doing this. Well, and that's, we share this kind of stuff too. I mean, you know, I lost a lot of chickens last year to yeah. predators. But when you share this stuff, there's people out there that watch that can help with, hey, here's what that might look like. Here's what that probably was. You know, whatever that... Uh, whatever so sorry if this whatever but you know we were both surprised we came around the corner it's, and I, it's something that is completely unpredictable you have no idea when this stuff is going to happen i definitely didn't want the video to end like this mm -hmm. or to be about this but today that's what it is and if you wonder sometimes why we try to take care of predators on our farm when you live through this and you see things like this happen that's the reason why so we don't we don't take any chances if we see a predator we take care of it and this is it. Well, and there's plenty of land around here for predators to, you know, yeah, find there's, things to eat. And there's wild rabbits and wild wild game out there to be had. So yep. um, messing with our goats or our animals isn't going to cut it. So hopefully we can figure it out and the next one won't end like this. Well, Xena won because the animal's still here. Yeah. So I got a feeling she was over there. Like you said, you know, she said you said you've been testing your fence. I got a feeling she was over there just... I don't know. She may not have assumed it was up here, the threat. I know they can hear really well, but she may have thought something out there. And, and you know. there's a chance that she could have been here barking. And, and once the predator realized that Xena couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. there's, I had that happen too, yeah. There's a chance that the predator just did what they, they do because she couldn't get to them um, no matter what. So she had, um, we did have, if you saw it over on Catching Up with the Walkers, she had been digging out, but she has not dug out in about three days. She has been in the entire time. I came out here yesterday and fed. This wasn't here. So I know that she was in the pen with them. So I don't know. Well, what do you got? You got a big coyote. Yeah, yeah, really that's big a coyote. Big, that's a big coyote. Um, but let me know, what do you guys think? You saw the same thing we did. Um, let, let me know what you think, what it was. And we'll keep a keen eye out, though, for any new predators uh, coming to the farm. So Chad made it all the way back to Oklahoma. Have I talked to you into staying yet? That's I, I tell you, I told you I bought a pike pass. Yeah. So that's a, that's a big step, right? That's step number one is getting like through appreciation. getting through the tolls without stopping. Mm -hmm. yep. So anything we can do to get you here, just let us know. I'm putting it in public. I'm putting it out there. Yeah. We're trying to recruit Chad to Team Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. but hopefully it won't be too long um we didn't um, get to run into grandpa adler farms today but i did hear that his birthday is coming up mm -hmm. so we uh, hooked him up with a little bit of cross timbers bison um jerky so hopefully he enjoys that and, he should uh, yeah it'll keep him fueled up on the weekend when chad goes out and gets to take his break and puts grandpa in charge yep whenever it gets cold i put grandpa in charge <laughs> whenever the he temperature do, drops and he asked me if he can do something or if i think something to look good i just look at the temperature and if it's below 40 it looks great yeah so we had a lot of fun with chad today 
And uh, if you haven't already, head over there, check out Adler Farms, Grandpa Adler Farms, and Adler Farms Shorts. Adler Farms Shorts, yeah. Uh, yeah. Or Adler so, Farms After Hours, whatever it's called over there. I don't even Yeah, know. all three of them. <laughs> Subscribe. And uh, if you haven't checked them out, tell them Walker Farm Fam sent you. But thank you guys so much for following along as we move some cattle today. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day.